Good evening to all of you. Today, this video is going to be my seventh video on the chapter quadratic equations. In the last video, already we have learned about quadratic formula. Also, we learned how to use it, how to apply it. Also, we came to know at the same time what is the meaning of discriminant and how it will decide the nature of the roots of a quadratic equations. Now, let us recap once again. What was the quadratic formula? Now look at here x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is known as quadratic formula. Now look at the term which is kept under the square root b square minus 4ac. This term will decide how the nature of the roots will be. How it will decide the nature of the roots? Let us recap again. We shall have three conditions, already we have discussed in the last video. The first condition was, if this discriminant is positive, then both the roots will be real and unequal. If the discriminant is negative, then both the roots will be unreal and unequal. That means, if it is negative, then we shall be getting the minus number under the square root. And minus number under the square root means the both the roots will be imaginary or unreal and unequal. That was the second condition we knew. If the viscous force C vanishes means it becomes zero, then both the roots will be real and equal. So these were the three conditions. In this way, the discriminant in this way viscous force C will decide how the nature of the roots will be. That's why it is known as discriminant. Right? Already we have studied in the last video. Now, today in this video, we shall be doing, we shall be solving some questions on the basis of quadratic formula and discriminant. These are the problems I have set up. I have set up these problems on the basis of quadratic formula to be done one by one. I have picked up all these questions from the exercise 4.4 NCRT textbooks. If you want, also you can go through there. Now let us solve on all these questions one by one. First, look at the first questions. Find the roots of the following quadratic equations by using quadratic formula if exists. Now let us solve one by one. Here the first question is that 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 3 equal to 0. Here we have to find the roots of these equations by using quadratic formula. If exists, if exists means first we need to find the discriminant. We know the discriminant is B square minus 4ac. First, let us find ABC from the given equations on comparing to the general form. Here, a equal to 3, b equal to minus 2, c equal to 1 by 3. Now, let us find here discriminant. Here, a equal to 3, b equal to minus 2, c equal to 1 by 3. Since b is minus 2, so right here, minus 2 whole square minus 4 into a is 3 c is 1 by 3 so it becomes 4 it will be cancelled 4 minus 4 0 so ultimately we got the discriminant is 0 the another symbol of discriminant is d it is the discriminant minus 4 ac since we see the discriminant is 0 so we can say by the condition number 3 by the condition number 3, then both the roots will be real and equal. So we can say, we can claim both the roots will be real and equal for these equations because here d is 0. So write down, so both the roots will be real and equal since 
d0 but what are the roots what are the equal roots they can be found simply by quadratic formula we know the quadratic formula was x equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a then put down the values we have b equal to minus 2 plus minus root over so what value i got for b square minus 4ac 0 put it here by 2 into 3 so it becomes 2 plus 0 by 6 2 by 6 means it will be cancelled 1 by 3 so ultimately we got x equal to 1 by 3 so we got one root but what is the another root since we have proved that the discriminant is 0 so both the roots will be equal so the another root will be also 1 by 3 because we know if the discriminant is 0 both the root will be equal so here the both the roots are 1 by 3 1 by 3 so in this way the question number 1 has been solved now let us come to second questions to be solved in the similar way the second question is that 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0 similarly we have to find the roots if exists so in the similar way let us find a 3 b is minus 4 root 3 c is 4 here the discriminant is b square minus 4 ac first let us find discriminant like before minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into is 3 c is 4 minus 4 root 3 whole square means it will be squared 4 will be squared also 3 will be squared also minus will be squared means it will become plus 16 into 3 minus 48 so 48 minus 48 0 so also here b square minus 4 ac we have seen 0 also it will be 0 so by condition number 3 also we can say it will have the equation will have two equal roots so also it will have two equal roots by condition number three but what are the what are the roots it can be found by using quadratic formula right like before the both the questions are same but i am showing you all your convenience what is the b here minus of minus 4 root 3 plus minus root over we got it is 0 so put down 0 directly 2 into a is here 3 so minus minus plus it becomes 4 root 3 by 6 so ultimately we got x equal to 4 root 3 by 6 what is the another root because we have proved here d is 0 also the another root will be same means this one by condition number 3 because here the discriminant is 0 so we can say it, it will have two equal roots if one root is this one so another root will be also 4 root 3 by 6 here both the roots will be same because we have proved already d is 0 in this way also question number 2 has been solved now let us come to question number 2 what is told here find the nature of the roots of the following equations if real root exists find them find the nature of the roots that means we have to find the nature of the given roots given equations first let us write the question first question number 2 ka 1 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0 we have to find the nature of the roots now tell me who can decide the nature of the roots 
only discriminant means which one is policy only can decide the nature of the roots so first we have to find the discriminant d which one is policy first let us find a b c on comparing to the general form from here here a equal to 2 b equal to minus 3 c equal to 5 after that we have to find out discriminant here b will be minus 3 whole square 4 a c a is 2 c is 5 it becomes 9 minus 40 minus 31 so ultimately we got d equal to minus 31 means the discriminant which comes for c is negative so here we got the discriminant is negative now look at the second condition what was the second condition if the discriminant is negative then both the roots will be unreal and unequal okay so here d is negative so you can claim so both the roots roots of the given equation will be unreal and unequal so it is correct since here d is negative so instantly you can claim by the condition number 2 both the roots will be unreal and unequal but always we are only interested about real roots we are not interested about unreal roots so here no need to find the unreal roots so you have to stop here understood again i am saying all of which we are interested about real roots but here d is negative means we are sure we shall have unreal roots so you have to stop here because we can we cannot get real root from here that is the answer for the given question okay now now this questions this question will be done in the similar way so i am skipping this questions as a homework this question will be as a homework so you have to solve it like question number 1 that i have done recently so this question i am skipping as a homework okay now let us come to the question number 3 very very important questions this question comes in the board exam frequently that's why i have given the stock marks i have here marked by star what is told here find the value of k for which the following equation will have two equal roots find the value of k for which the two equation will have equal roots two equal roots now first let us take the question here the given question is here the given question is 2x square plus kx plus 3 equal to 0 now you have to find the value of k for which the equation will have two equal roots here k is unknown to find the value of k on condition is already mentioned in the given question what was the question find the value of k for which the equation will have two equal roots that is the given conditions so you have to use this concept to find the value of k here now look at the condition number 3 for which conditions the two roots will be real and equal the discriminant has to be zero that means p square minus 4ac has to be zero that is the only condition to be applied here first find here a equal to 2 b equal to k c equal to 3 now give the equation name as one dekho since one will have two equal roots so the discriminant which one is for ac has to be zero by the condition number 3 so you have to use this condition here to find unknown k 
Now look at here. What is the value of k here? B here k. Four as it is, a means two. C is three, zero. So it will become k square. It will become twenty-four. It will go to the right hand side. So k will be become square root of twenty-four. So square root twenty-four means plus minus root was twenty-four. Because if you you know if you open the square root always plus minus both will come. Now it can be written as six into four. It is a perfect square. So the square root of four is two. So it will come out. So ultimately we got k equal to plus minus two root six. So we have two values of k. Two root six plus and minus two root six. So you can say for these two values of k, the equation will have two equal roots. Here I have used the condition number three. For which condition the two roots will be equal? So you have to use the third condition for the discriminant. The discriminant has to be zero. It has to be zero. So keep in mind, in both exam this type of question comes from the discriminant. So among all the questions here, this question is going to be very very important. This question is very very important. Okay, this question comes in the board exam very frequently. Similarly, let us solve the question number two. What is the question number two? K x. Into x minus six, two plus six equal to zero. Here k is unknown, so we have to find the value of k. What is told here? Also, this equation will have two equal roots. Then find the value of k. First, let us bring the general form by multiplying k x square minus two k x plus six equal to zero. Right? Now, on comparing the general form, here the value of a is k, b is minus two k, c is six. Now, give the name as one. Since one will have two equal roots, it is clearly told in the question. Don't worry. It will be told in the questions. Then we have to find the value of k on the basis of these hints. Since the equation number one will have two equal roots, so the discriminant discriminant policy will be zero. Simply, I am using the condition number three. Simply, we are using the condition number three. If discriminant zero, then both the roots will be real and equal. Always remember this condition. So what value we have for b? Minus two k whole square put here. Minus four h k c six equal to zero. So it will become four k square minus two k whole square means four k whole square minus twenty four k equal to zero. Right? Now taking four k common from the both. It becomes four k into k minus six equal to zero. So here ultimately we got two factors, four k and k minus six, and it is multiplied. So we can claim either four k zero or k minus six is zero. Here since four k zero, so k will be zero by dividing four on the both sides. So k will be zero since four k zero, k is equal to zero by dividing four on the both sides. Here, let us bring six on the right hand side. It will become k equal to six. So we got two values of k, zero and six. So we can say for the values of for these two values of k, the equation one will have two equal roots. 
So here simply we have used the condition number three. Condition number three means the roots will be equal if the discriminant is zero. Here the discriminant has to be zero because it was told in the question that the equation will have two equal roots. So this, again this question is very very important for the CBC board exams. Okay. So today we have to stop here. We shall be meeting soon with the new videos. So be happy, be safe, be healthy and please stay at the home. Okay. Thank you very much.